Hello, my name is Joey. I'm a product documentation manager at Yext. Today I'll be walking you through how to create a custom user role and how to assign the role to new and existing users. The Yext platform comes standard with built-in user roles that can be assigned to a wide variety of users. However, you may want to create your own custom user role to assign to a unique set of users. To get started, click on the account details icon in the navigation bar and click account settings. Then click roles. On this page, you can see all of the roles that are available in your account. There are a number of built-in roles available, such as account manager, entity viewer, and full control, along with a description of each role. If you already have custom user roles, you can edit them here by clicking on the edit button. Otherwise, to create a new custom user role, click on the add new role button. Next, give your custom user role a name and a brief description. You can also copy permissions from an existing user role. Once you're finished, click Add User Role. On this page, you can see all of the available product areas in the Yext platform. Clicking on a product tab will open the specific permissions assigned to that product area, broken up into various feature sections. Please note that all available Yext products are listed here, but you may not have all of these products available in your subscription. As you go through all of the products and features, be sure you are selecting the options that will give the user the exact permissions they will need to complete tasks in the platform. You can also go back and edit your custom user role if you need to make any changes. Once you're finished setting up your custom user role, click Save. Now you can assign a user to this custom user role. To do this, navigate to Users. You have the ability to assign your new custom user role to new users as well as existing users. To assign your custom user role to a new user, click Add User and select Add Single User from the drop down menu. After you add all the required information, click on the Add button under Access Controls. Now you can select your custom user role from the drop down menu. After selecting the scope for this new user, click Save. Then click Add User. To assign this custom user role to an existing user, navigate to Users again, but this time, click on the desired user. Click on the Add button under Access Controls. Select your newly created custom user role from the drop-down menu, and select the user's scope, then click Save. Be sure to remove any access controls the user no longer needs. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. Please visit our YouTube channel or hitchhikers.yaks.com for more content and continued learning.